Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import sales orders into QuickBooks Point of Sale from text or Excel files using Z-axis. Before we start, let's just discuss a little bit about what a sales order is in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Simply, they're a customer order for items. And there are three varieties. The first one is a sales order. This is for when a customer orders if items are out of stock. So they're held on back order. The second type is a work order. Now these are normally quotes for services that are quoted to a particular customer. And the third type is a layaway, is when a customer purchases and may pay in an installments but won't receive the goods until they're fully paid for. With Z-axis, you can then specify what type of sales order it is by mapping the sales order type field. So let's get ahead and show you how to import this information into QuickBooks point of sale. So the first step in the process is to open Z-axis on your desktop, select QuickBooks point of sale and click connect. So Z-axis is now connected to your point of sale file. Next, we're going to browse to the import file that contains the sales orders that we're going to upload into QuickBooks point of sale. So this is a sample file that I made previously. And we'll open that. Once that open, you'll see what is contained within that file displayed on this grid here. And the important thing to note here is the first row contains the column headers, and then underneath that are repeating rows of data for sales orders that we can import into point of sale. So the next step is to create a mapping. And this process is to associate the columns in the import file to the corresponding fields on the sales order in QuickBooks point of sale. So I select add new mapping. I select the transaction type as sales order. And I begin the process of mapping the point of sale fields to the columns in the import file. So what you'll notice is there are some fields marked in yellow. These are the mandatory fields and the ones that must be mapped in order to successfully create a sales order. So I've mapped all the necessary fields that are required, down including the item and the description. If you need assistance with any of these mappings, we have a useful resource here, which is a help link to our website, which contains information about all the fields that are on a sales order. So these articles contain the detailed steps of how to import the sales orders, as well as explanations of all the fields and descriptions of what data is expected for those fields. So once I've finished the mapping, I'll give it a name so I can reuse it on subsequent imports and I'll click save. So what you'll notice is now within this grid, only the fields that we map will be displayed. Now the final step in the process is to click import. Access will validate the data that we're importing and it will then begin the process of importing those sales orders directly into QuickBooks point of sale. And when it's complete, um, you'll get a summary of how many transactions were created in QuickBooks point of sale. So let's just go in and have a look to see what we've just imported. So here we are within point of sale and you can see the transactions that we've just successfully imported into point of sale. So in summary, that's how you can import sales orders from text Excel directly into QuickBooks point of sale using Z-axis.